Well, we're early in the job hunt here. I have manually applied for several jobs in England because that's kind of where I want to establish my base to have some experience to be able to end up there, championship, Premier League as we develop. Uh, but, uh, and I'm, I've stayed away from Denmark and I've stayed away from Sweden. Just Denmark wasn't appealing and nothing personal. And um, Sweden, because we've already been there and I kind of don't want to go through that. But I, I was tired of hitting, you know, the button every time I was starting to have some finger cramps. So what I'm doing is I'm vacationing for seven days at a stretch and I'm applying for every job. Well, it turns out the FK Carl Scrona job came available, uh, but my application was unsuccessful. So wanted to bring that to your attention. I just thought that would have been pretty ironic to end up there. Speaking of, anybody still there of note? Uh, let's see. Let's look by position. Uh, Costman, he's still there. Uh, I want to change this to the Loki Doki view because that'll help me. So yeah, Costman is still there, our German keeper. Um, Clunen is still there. Sam Betts, he's now 30. Carl Evans, 27 years old, still playing well. He's on 133,000 a week. Uh, Victor Seeger, Daniel Benson, uh, Michael O'Driscoll is still there. That's a little surprising. David Lundell, I think that name's familiar. Uh, transfer history. There we go. So let's see. Da, da, da. Christian Lund, I believe. He got sold. I think that was our guy. Last year, Philip Hansen. I think that was our guy. Carl e Carl Evans got loaned out to Kalmar last year. The hell's up with that? Wow. Evans was like our main guy, wasn't he? Michael Larson. Marcus Larson. Michael DuPont. Marcus Gustafson, they made a little money on him. Ollie Jacobson, Leonard Thompson, Latifi, Dietert, they got let go on freeze. So that seems to be when the exodus started. Anyway, just wanted to point that out. I'll be back when any news happens. All right, we're back. I'm not going to show you every job and job application, but uh, you can see that uh, quite a few jobs were received, unsuccessful. Uh, the FC United job was the first one. It was in Manchester. I didn't want to go there anyway. Uh, not to Manchester, but, um, you know, I was looking to get into England. But look who has offered us a job. It is Salford. So Salford is a semi-professional club. I'm trying to stay away from that, but it is what it is. They're in okay finances. They are really struggling. In fact, they must have been relegated. Um, no, they, they were not. That's a lot of freaking teams. 24 teams. Wow. Um, as a Leeds fan, I, I'm not super familiar with the lower leagues except for playing them. Um, Geisley, Ackrington, Stanley. I recognize a lot of them. I've been at some of these clubs. Uh, but Salford, I've never managed there. Not sure where they're at. But uh, they were predicted to finish third and they ended up 15th so the season is over just ended so we'll be coming into the transfer window i think uh end date yeah so the season just ended and the transfer window starts june 6th so I'd, if we're gonna get this job i would like to get hired quickly and then uh you know, be able to be around for transfers. But so again, I'm not, we may or may not get this job, but you know, I wanted to at least do the first one. So, uh, well, I'm just trying to forge. I'm merely considering my options. Performing. Yep. 
Yeah. Limited resources. Yeah. Uh, no, no changes. All right, work within the payroll budget. Finish in the top half for next season. Maintain top halves. So they're not even looking to get promoted. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to work with that. Uh, no, no request. That was an easy interview. And uh, assertive. Sure. All right. Now let's take a look here. So job security. Job center. There we go. Uh, I applied for the Montrose job because I like the band Montrose. Uh, they're in Scottish League 2. They laughed me off. The fans laughed me off. So Salford Andy Hunter is currently the favorite for that job. All right, well, again, I'll be back with any news. If they come back and don't offer me the job, I'll just mention that next, uh, the next part. And uh, we'll just keep applying for stuff. Let's see if there's any other jobs we want to manually apply for here. Um, I'm, I'm just telling it, when you go on vacation, you have the option to apply for certain level jobs. I'm just applying for any job. So, But I think it's going to have to be somebody with a one or a half star. It's going to be something like these Swedish jobs that I think I'm going to have to end up at. Unfortunately, but in fact, that's what I wanted to look at for South. Well, Southford's a one star. I'd like to get into that. But anyway, we'll see you guys uh, when something else happens. All right, guys. Well, we have a decision today. Decision time. So Van Loos, you know how you get these, these weekly job updates that tell you the jobs that you know are kind of recommended for you uh, these are the ones that you probably have a at least a better than average chance of getting uh, they were the first club that was listed uh, you know I had four clubs in Denmark and I told you I was trying to stay away I just you know Denmark didn't appeal to me you know now they have a regional reputation semi-professional basic and poor insecure finances they've offered me a job at seventeen thousand dollars a year it's not a lot <laughs> it's just not a lot uh and i understand you know beggars can't be choosers especially when you're trying to get your foot in the door uh real quick by the way um my profile so I didn't change my hair, so now I look like Loki Doki. Um, <laughs> my wife says all of us, me and Loki and Kev, and uh, you know, we all look pretty much the same. Uh, you know, older white beards. You know, <laughs> you know. She goes, all you, all you FM YouTubers must look alike. So I showed her Aussie villain, who's bald head and and no facial hair, and you know, she said, okay, well at least he looks different. Um, so she gets a kick out of that. But anyway, um, I gave myself a C license. I made myself 30 years old. And the reason was, is I figured, you know, if I got into coaching at, you know, early to mid 20s, spent about five years as an assistant, got my first badge, and now I'm looking to get, get out in there into the coaching ranks, right? So that's the goal. Uh, that's how I set myself up, just a quarter star reputation. And so we've got that $17,000 offer. And just to refresh your memory here, so semi-professional, basic and poor. Um, at this level, you're signing people to non-contracts and, you know, very small squads. And, you know, you're not going to develop anybody. You're not going to have a good youth facility. So we've got that. Well, then we interviewed with Bonrig, Bonrig, Bonnie Rig Rose, and I just like the name. So they've offered us double, $34,000 a year. We've never heard of the club, and I have never managed in Scotland. Uh, so that was appealing. 
Montrose never came back. They they did end up coming to offer me an interview finally, but it's still pending. So they're in League Two, predicted to finish fourth, currently in sixth. That's the 116th level league. Now the second division in Denmark is 113. So, yeah, you know. And I had a couple of jobs that I had applied for in the uh, Air Air Tri City, Air Tri City. Um, right there. So at least we're not in the Highland Lowland leagues. I think that's where, uh, not that that would be a bad thing, but, uh, who's the club that Loki did that he raised, that he raised money for. I think they were in the Highland Lowland leagues. So, uh, anyway, but if we take a look here, I think they are at the end of their season. So air United East Fife got relegated. And we're solidly mid-table. Okay, there's Montrose. Um, now, what's the rules of this? So you have League 2. You've got 10 teams four times. Holy cow. Well, playing each team four times, we're going to blow through these seasons, I can tell you, if, if, I get the, if I take the job. So the first team gets promoted. You have three teams that make the playoff semifinals. So who? So, okay, only one team's going to get. So two, three, and four go into the playoffs. One team gets promoted. And as long as you finish in the top half. All right, let's see. Transfer window, June 9th. So it just opened. The season starts July 1st, is that right? No, May 10th, no, that's the playoffs. I'm looking at the wrong thing. All right, so it starts August 2nd to May 2nd. So we've got two months to the start of the season. We've only missed a couple of days of the transfer window. A transfer budget of ninety-five thousand, payroll of three hundred and three thousand, thirty-four thousand a year. Wow. Now they do have high expectations. Now we were picked to finish fourth. I don't usually negotiate this stuff, but they want us to win the league by the end of next year. Well, that's going to be my first season. Uh, oh, I guess I can't. Oh, no. Mm. Well, they're going to get a 12-month contract. Can I get 35? All right. You know what? I'm going to take the deal. It gets me a job. It gets me working. All right. So, boom. There we are. I fly all the way to Bonnie, Scotland. I wish I could do a Scottish brogue accent. I, I love the I love the accent, but I can't do it. And if I tried to do it, it would be really, really bad. So, you'll just have to imagine it, right? Bonnie Rig Rose Athletic. Cool deal. All right. Well, we'll be sending a tweet out to them, letting them know that I've taken the job as their new manager, and they can get rid of whoever's there now. <laughs> and it's probably not Callum Walker. I mean, keep in mind, we are quite a few years into the future. So they finished in sixth place. They didn't win any of their last five games. We've got a one and a half star reputation. I've got an assistant manager. I guess he's not horrible. They won Scottish League Two in 2057, the Emirates Junior Cup in 66 and 78, and the Scottish Juniors East Region South Super League. <laughs> 
that's a mouthful, 2009-2012. Made it to the fourth round of the Scottish Cup, the first round of the Earn Brew Cup, six in League Two, and made it to group stage in the League Cup. They were founded in 1890. Very nice. Uh, the 2050s was their best spell of success. But they have not won a competition since 2057. Can I look at any of these guys yet? Oh, yes, the stats are now in. All right, so I've got a finishing striker with no pace that's 31 years old. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I got... You know, I like to play with a pass. Ooh, he can pass the ball. All right, I like him already. 25 years old. Average passer. Eh. How's my center backs look? Oh, my God, they can actually head the ball. They're, they're, well, he doesn't have any hair to mess up, right? That's, that's the philosophy. Pace. He can head the ball. Awesome. McGregor. He can head the ball, too. Sweet. McKinney? McKimmy. I'm sorry, Ross McKimmy. Handling, kicking, one-on-one. -on -one. Could be better. How are my wingers? Crossing's decent. Passing. All right, so the team may not be horrible. All right, there's our goals. All right. Well, I'm going to finish everything else off camera, set up everything, get into the uh, transfers, and we'll be back and we'll kind of do a formal team introduction, meet the players, and uh, look at our transfer window and get into the season. So let me know what you guys think. If you know anything about Scotland or the league or Bonnie Rig, Bonnie Rig Athletic, Bonnie Rig Rose Athletic. My apologies. Don't want to leave the rose off. Cool name. I like it. Bonnie Rig Rose. All right. Well, guys, have a good one. And we will talk to you next episode for the first match of the season. Take care. Bye.